Hey students, welcome to yet another wonderful session. So today we are going to be talking about poly polygons. So basically this is from the chapter basic geometrical ideas. So let's get started. So before I formally start the session, there is an important update. Now Baiju's mini learning program is absolutely free, but this is a limited period offer. So to avail this, you have to use the code YTFREE all in caps. So let me tell you what all benefits you are getting here. So basically you can you can have three sessions at whatever time you want to uh, take the session at and that to whichever subjects you want to take the session for. And yes, absolutely, you have to use this code YTFREE. So as I said, it's basically about the two teacher advantage. So one on one guidance from the personal mentor would be there, live interactive classes and Choose your class timings as per your convenience and you would get after class assignments and assessments as well. So many benefits you're getting here. And trust me, if you like our teaching, you are definitely going to love the app. So do check this out. So let's not waste any more time here. Let's get started. So these are the three topics that we will be learning today. Polygons, triangles and quadrilaterals. So before we get started, I hope everybody has joined the Telegram channel because a lot of benefits you are getting here. Revision questions are shared there. Whatever sessions we do here, the live sessions and all, the session PDFs are shared over the Telegram channel. Some interesting Sunday facts, quizzes, homework questions, and yes, of course, session updates as well you get there. So, so many things you get over the Telegram channel. So, link for that is given in the description. Please do join it. All right, so let's get started. Now, before I properly start the topic, let's do a quick recall on what we learned in the previous session. So previously we talked about what line segment is, right? We talked about the different, different terms, right? The line segment, line, ray, so many terms we talked about. So let's do a quick recall on them. So a line segment is basically formed by joining two points, right? So here, this is what? These are points, right? But if I join them, we get a line segment, yes? So this is a fixed, it is fixed, right? You cannot extend it in any of the directions. Then next is we have a ray, which starts from a point and goes endlessly in a direction. Let's suppose we have this point here, right? And it is going endlessly in this direction, right? Over here. So what do we call this? We basically call this a ray. Now, if I extend this in both the directions, in both the directions, what will you call it? We will call it a line, which is formed if a line segment is extended endlessly in both the directions. So this was about a line segment, a ray and a line. Now what are parallel lines? So parallel lines that never meet each other, they cannot meet. Like example, we have a real life example, the railway tracks, they never meet each other, right? They are straight so that train can run on it. So what if the lines meet each other at a certain point, right? So we call them intersecting points. So lines that meet at a point are called intersecting lines like this over here. These are intersecting, right? Now talking about what an angle is. So when two rays meet at a common point, we, then angles are formed. Like here, if you see, two rays are meeting here at this point. So an angle is formed over here. Here as well, this angle is formed, right? So this was about the basic terminology that we use when it comes to geometry. Now let's move ahead. As I said, these three topics, polygon, triangles and quadrilaterals, yes. So today I'll be talking about polygons over here, the first of all polygons. So let's get started. So what is a polygon actually? Let's take a look at the mathematical definition of it. So polygons are basically 2D figure. That means two dimensional figures which are made up of line segments. See each of these keywords that you can see here, it actually means something. First of all, it's a two dimensional figure. Second thing, it has to be line segments only, no curves. Take a look at this figure. Like we have this A, B, C, D over here, this over here, this over here. In all three of them, we have only got line segments, right? Only line segments are there and it is closed. First important thing is it is closed 2D figure, right? Let's suppose if I have something like this, this will not be called a poly polygon. Reason being, it is not closed, right? So all these, all these factors over here have to be considered. Now let's look at some of the terminologies of polygons. Like the first thing is the sides of a polygon. So sides of a polygon are basically made up of straight line segments, right? Connected to each other end to end. Let's take an example. Here you can see this A, B, C, D, E, right? This is basically a five-sided polygon, right? 
So here what I can see over here is all of them are line segments. This AB, AE, ED, DC and CB. All of them are line segments. Second thing, they are connected end to end. You can see they all are connected over here end to end. It is closed, right? So all these here AB, BC, CD, DE and EA are the sides of the polygon. Very simple to understand. Now let's move ahead to the next terminology that is vertex. So what is a vertex? It is basically the meeting point where pair of sides are meeting, right? Here we can see the side BC and CD. They are meeting at this point C. Look at this BC and AB. They are meeting at this point B. AB and AE, they are meeting at A. Similarly, this AE and DE, they are meeting at E and CD and DE are meeting at D. So all these over here, these are what? A, B, C, D and E. These are the vertices of this polygon. Very simple. We know the sides, we know the vertices. Now let's move ahead to the next term, term that is diagonal. So what is a diagonal? It's basically a segment of a polygon that connects two non-consecutive vertices. Non-consecutive vertices, like look at this figure over here. So what I can see over here is, let's suppose I'm talking about C and I'm talking about A. These are non-consecutive. So what is consecutive? Consecutive means that comes one after the other. That means the adjacent ones, the neighboring ones. Like C and B over here, they are neighboring ones. They are consecutive, right? A and C are non-consecutive. They're not neighboring. So if I join these two vertices with a segment, this AC over here is nothing but that's a diagonal. Similarly, look at this E over here and C. If I join this, I have the CE is nothing but that's a diagonal. Similarly, this AD, this BE over here and this BD. But remember one thing, the vertices should not be consecutive. They have to be non-consecutive, right? So these are the diagonals. That means this AC over here, AC, AD, BE, BD, and CE, all these are the diagonals of the polygon. All right, so till now we talked about what a polygon is. We talked about the terminologies of a polygon. Now let's move ahead and let's see what do we have next. So next we are going to be talking about triangle. All right, so triangle is basically our first polygon, right? It is also a two-dimensional figure, right? It is made up of line segments and it's a closed figure. So it is basically fulfilling all the conditions of a polygon. That's why we, it is basically the simplest polygon, I would say. So if I talk about a triangle, what is a triangle actually? It's a three-sided polygon. We know that triangle has three sides. In fact, it is the polygon with the least number of sides. We do not have a polygon with less than three sides, right? Because let's suppose if triangle has got three sides, if a polygon has got two sides, you will not be able to close it. It won't be a closed figure, closed figure so we cannot call it a polygon. Okay, let's take a few examples to understand this. So a triangle is a polygon having three sides, three angles, three vertices and zero diagonals. Let me explain you. We can pick any of these figures. Let's suppose if I pick up this one, this has got three sides. Yes. Okay, this condition fulfilled. Three angles, one, two and three. This condition is also fulfilled. Three vertices, first vertex, second vertex, third vertex. It's a point where two sides are meeting, right? So three vertices, zero diagonals. Yes, no diagonals. Diagonals are basically, it's a segment which is formed by joining the non-consecutive vertices. These two vertices are consecutive side by side, right? Adjacent ones. This and this is consecutive. I cannot form a diagonal. This and this is consecutive. How can I, how can I draw a diagonal? A lot many times I've seen students making this mistake. What they do is they would make like this. This is not a diagonal, right? Because we are not joining the vertices here. You're joining the vertex to the, to any point on the opposite side. Yes. So a triangle has zero diagonals. So this is, this was about a triangle, right? Now let's move ahead. Let's talk about the interior of a triangle. Interior, interior as the name suggests, which is something which is inside. So here in this triangle ABC, this point Q over here, it is in the interior of the triangle. It doesn't matter where it is in the uh, in the interior. It, even if it is here, we will call that it is in the interior of the triangle. Now, what is exterior of the triangle? Exterior means something which is outside. So here, this point Q, you can see that it is outside the triangle. It is in the exterior of the triangle. Even if it is here, if it is here, doesn't matter. Even if it is here, still we will say that it is in the exterior of the triangle. Now, let's move ahead to the next thing. We'll talk about what is the point on the triangle. But if let's say this point Q is lying on any of the sides of the triangle, we will say that it is lying on the triangle. Even if I say that this point Q over here is here, or let's say if it is here, so I would say that it is lying on the triangle. So this was about the triangle. Now let's move ahead. Let's quickly take a look at 
or flow chart what do we have next so next we are going to be talking about a quadrilateral so what is a quadrilateral so let's split this word over here so quad quad means four and lateral means sides that means it's basically a polygon having four sides and four angles and four vertices you can see and two diagonals right four sides now let me just explain you this ab over here this ab this bc this cd this da these are the four sides if you talk about four angles you saw the highlighted part right this is the first angle second third and fourth if you talk about the four vertices yes you saw them being highlighted these are the four vertices a b c and d two diagonals which are joining the non consecutive vertices like a and c are joining are joined with a segment so this ac over here is nothing but that's a diagonal bd over here is also a diagonal all right so this was about the basic uh, terminology basic things that we use in a quadrilateral now what are the adjacent sides in a quadrilateral so two sides of a quadrilateral are said to be adjacent if they have a common end point adjacent means neighboring let's suppose if you have your neighbor so you are sharing a common wall right you and your neighbor that's the adjacent one so here we can say that this over here in this ab and bc these are the adjacent sides let me just use different colors so this ab and bc these are adjacent one the neighboring ones because they have a common end point right that's b similarly this bc and cd similarly this dc and da these are the adjacent sides moving to the next thing that is opposite sides so two sides of a quadrilateral are called opposite sides if they do not have a common end point do not have a common end point means let's suppose this ab and cd these are opposite no common end point in between them this bc and ad these are the opposite sides like example given over here ab and dc so we have one more example also ad and bc over here all right let's move ahead now let's see what adjacent angles are so adjacent means neighboring the neighboring angles right so if they have two angles of a quadrilateral called adjacent angles if they have a common side as an arm common side as an arm like you can see here these angles over here angle abc this angle and angle bcd this angle these are the adjacent ones similarly you can say that this angle bcd and this angle adc these are also adjacent ones similarly this angle d and angle a are also adjacent like this we can pick up pairs now what are opposite angles so angles in a quadrilateral are said to be opposite if they are located diagonally opposite to each other diagonally opposite means you can see that this is the diagonal diagonally opposite means this angle b and this angle d over here this angle c and this angle a over here they will will be called opposite angles so like angle abc and angle adc are going to be opposite angles same way the another example that i shared with you now that we have discussed about the polygons triangles and quadrilaterals so it's time that we discuss a few questions so that we can get a better understanding So question time now here is the first one how many angles are there in a quadrilateral 3 4 5 and 1 so pause this video take some time and try solving this all right so let's see what the right answer is when i'm talking about the quadrilateral it's a four sided figure so what we saw in the previous example let's suppose this is my four sided figure it is going to have four angles right so quadrilateral has four angles so option c is the right answer for this question All right so this was a very simple one let's move ahead and check out the next question how many pair of opposite sides are there in a quadrilateral so pair of opposite sides we just talked about it take a few seconds make a quadrilateral pause this video try solving this try to figure out the right answer okay so like i have made a quadrilateral over here when i'm talking about the opposite sides so let's say this is a b c d so this a b and c d these are going to be opposite sides a d and b c are going to be opposite sides so basically two pairs of opposite sides that means option c 2 is the right answer for this question okay let's move ahead to the next one how many diagonals are there in a triangle try solving this take some time make a figure first let's say we have a triangle over here right So when I talk about the diagonals there it is basically formed if a segment joining the non consecutive vertices right so all the vertices over here are consecutive so it cannot have any of the diagonals that means zero diagonals that's what we learned in the previous slides yes so option C is the right answer okay let's move ahead to the next question which of the following is correct four options we can see over here we are talking about a polygon if you want uh, to answer this question correctly you need to know the exact definition of a polygon let's discuss all of them one by one a polygon is a figure which comprises of straight lines 
Yes, yes, we know that it is straight lines, but it is incomplete. This cannot be my answer. A polygon is a figure which comprises of all types of curves. Curves, no curves in a polygon. It's a closed figure made up of straight lines. Yes, it has to be closed, has to be straight lines over there. Fourth is polygon is a figure which comprises of straight lines and curves. No curves, only option C satisfies all the conditions. So that's the right answer. Okay, interesting one. Let's move ahead to the next question. How many sides are there in the following figure? Three, four, eight, and six. Pause this video. I know it looks a little trickier one, and I'm sure that you would be able to solve it easily. So, how many sides are there? This is simple. Just have to calculate the sides. Six sides we can clearly see over here. A lot of crisscrosses there, but that's not needed. So option D, six is the right answer. Simple one, right? So that's it. Now let's quickly summarize what all we have learned today. So we talked about polygons, what a polygon is. It's a closed two-dimensional figure made up of line segments. We learned about quadrilaterals, that they're polygons having four sides. We learned about what diagonals are, that they are line segments, line joining of two vertices that are non-adjacent. We talked about that the vertices are the meeting point of sides and the triangle is three-sided polygon. It is the very first polygon. All right, so... We have a question for you that you can try out at home all by yourself. How many vertices are there in a triangle? One, two, four, and three. Try this out. Let us know in the correct option in the comment section below. So I'll be waiting for your answers. And don't worry, we have got you covered. So many sessions we have lined up for you from every Monday to Friday to make you exam ready. And I hope you all have joined the Telegram channel. Link is there in the description. Do join it. And please like, share, and subscribe if you feel that these videos are actually helpful. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.